Welp, we got some stuff to talk about. Um, JP Dokon just got some news in the news tab, and there is a new, I can actually just scroll down right here, there is a new stage being added to the Beerus Dokkan event. So here we go, Beerus is here. Uh, new stage. This is a new stage being added, so it's not a new Dokkan event, it's the Tech Beerus Dokkan event. Uh, so this is going to be a new stage added onto there. There he is, Sozo no Mai Hakai Ga Adi, so that's like before creation comes destruction. Uh, and then they actually went ahead and posted on their Twitter account the info for the Beerus and Whis. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Beerus first, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at Whis. This is Beerus. Uh, the picture's a little bit low quality because I had to rip it from the Twitter. And Beerus looks pretty good. He is physical type. So let's go ahead and take a look at this is the translations I just did for him. Uh, this is the first time I'm trying out a video like this where I do translations and then go through it. Because uh, I usually don't make a video about this, but figured I'd try it this time. So here we go, Beerus, Furious God of Destruction. Leader skill, Explosion of Anger, or Realm of Gods category, key plus 3, HP plus 130, and then attack and defense plus 170. So Explosion of Anger is a new category, that's what Beerus will be leading, as, 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 as well as Realm of Gods. Um, we already had two pretty good Realm of Gods category leaders, I mean, Zamasu was good, uh, and then Beerus. It looks like they're going to want to, they're going down a path of uh, basically splitting up uh, super and extreme Realm of Gods units because a lot of the Zamasu slash Goku Black units want to be on one team and then like the other super class uh, Realm of Gods units want to be on a different team. So I think that's what they're trying to go with here. Super attack is God of Destruction's Judgment. It is attack and causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. Okay. Raising attack infinitely is good. <laughs> Uh, quote is, let me return the favor. That's like when he's throwing the uh, giant, basically the, the giant uh, destruction ball at Goku, and then he shoots like that beam. We can take a look at the, uh, the super attacks in a little bit. Passive is, this is a battle between gods. Uh, defense plus 100%, attack plus 150% when performing a super attack, attack and defense plus 70% within the same turn after receiving an attack. So that's that works exactly like LR Beerus and Whis. Um, same exact mechanic, like the strength, the strength uh, final form Frieza works the same way too. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow, and attacks effective against all types if there is a Realm of Gods category enemy. So this whole part after the semicolon is dependent on there being a Realm of Gods category enemy. So that is pretty specific, but this effect is massive. Like this, like att attacks effective against all types is insane, especially when you pair that up with. 150 and an additional 70 after getting hit. That's that's going to be a lot of damage. Uh, and then he does also have an active skill. Uh, actually very similar to the Tech Broly LR. Uh, it's called Retaliation. Conditions able to be used starting from the fourth turn from start of battle when HP is 70% or below. The, the, the actual effect is attack and defense plus 50% for one turn and attacks effective against all types and attacks always connect. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like you, if you guys know how the active skills work this is calculated separately from the actual passive um, if we go off of how LR Tech Broly's pa uh, active skill works so I mean we could be looking at something like like a 5 million 6 million attacks down on the sky with everything active it's actually just ridiculous. I forgot to put the English for the voice, but we'll, I'll do I'll do my uh, I'll do my best Beerus impression while I go over this. That's basically too bad. Uh, destroying is my job, uh, and don't underestimate gods of destruction. Uh, links are godly power, prodigies, connoisseur, innocent, shocking speed, berserker, fierce battle, and then categories are explosion of anger, of gods. Movie bosses, siblings bond, worthy rivals, and bond of master and disciple. So, explosion of anger. I guess it's going to be like, sorry, I guess it's going to be like Namek Goku. That's what comes to mind. I mean, what else is even going to be on there? Maybe like full power Frieza can be on there, I guess. Uh, Super Saiyan Gohan transforming, like transforming Gohan, the LR transforming Gohan. Uh, I gotta sit down and think about it because there's probably a lot of units that are gonna be on there. I mean, I don't know how good it's gonna be. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, that is Beerus. He's gonna be hitting for in bajillions of damage. <laughs> it's insane. 
Now we have Whis. This is what Whis looks like again. Sorry for the uh, poor quality there. We'll go ahead and take a look after this at the uh, official account. So Whis is ideal move. Leader skill is Bond of Master and Disciple. Category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack is basic teachings of an angel. It causes supreme damage to the enemy and lowers attack and defense and seals. That's pretty good. <laughs> Quote is allowing me to be your opponent. Passive, attentive to surroundings. Attack and defense plus 100%. Great chance to evade enemy attacks. That's generally a 70% chance there. Defense plus 50% within the same turn every time an enemy attack is evaded. <laughs> and I assume that works the same exact way that the Beerus passive works, where he gets that attack and defense plus 70% after getting attacked, but this is... Defense plus 50% every time. It literally says Tabi, which is every time. Uh, but I assume the way this is going to work is it's going to um, go away after one turn. So he can be attacked like four times, stack, and he can dodge all those, stack this up four times, and then have his defense be. I guess it would be 100 times whatever this ends up being, right? Because it'll be calculated separately, it'll be in the middle of the turn. That's going to be ridiculous. Uh, and then all allies attack plus 50% and recover 10% HP at the end of the round if there is a character whose name includes Beerus attacking in the same turn, excluding Weerus. So this actually works very similar to uh, Int Android 16, uh, because the way Int Android 16 works is he only gives this sort of supporting bonus if there is a Gohan, uh, Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2 Gohan uh, on the rotation. So. Uh, this guy works very similar, but his uh, his stipulation is that he needs to have a Beerus unit attacking in the same turn. So, very clearly meant to work together with the Beerus that is coming out alongside him. Link's Godly Power, Cold Judgment, Connoisseur, Gentleman, Shocking Speed, Rival Duo, and then Fierce Battle. Categories are Bond of Master, Disciple, and then Realm of Gods, and Sibling of Bond. So, this guy is going to be insane. I mean, these two together, um, I don't really know what to tell you. Like... <laughs> <laughs> this is obviously a new step in power creep for regular Dokkan Fest units. I mean, we literally just had, like, Strength Cooler come out on uh, JP, like, before the anniversary. And then he had, obviously, Android 13. But Strength Cooler was, like, the main big-time Dokkan Fest unit that came out before the anniversary. And I think this Beerus is definitely going to be hitting harder than that Cooler, just based off of what I'm seeing here. Obviously not going to be as flexible as that cooler is, because that's what makes that cooler very good in my opinion, but I mean, this is looking really, really powerful. <laughs> I mean, his active skill, like, like, I just saw this passive and I was like, oh wow, he's really, really good. And then I didn't even realize he had an active skill and I was like, what is this? I mean, the, the conditions are, are okay. They're not super good because being below 70% HP, especially when you have a unit like Whis, who's also healing you at every turn that this guy's on rotation, is good. it's going to be a little bit difficult, I think, to get that active. But when you can get this active, I mean, this plus effective against all types, like, everything, everything's dead. Like, what? what? Um, it's it's very ridiculous. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the Dokkan official account. Let me just do this, Dokkan, and then we can scroll down and just take a look at the super attacks real fast. So here's Whis. This is like when he's training them and just like basically screwing with them and writing his symbol on the shirt. <laughs> I love that. And then Beerus just looks really good. This is his active skill. So first we have the active skill. So this is him basically just powering up and being like, you're, you're literally about to die. <laughs> and then this is his actual super attack. The Sphere of Destruction. Looks really good. Look at this. And that's the KO screen. I mean... Here's a better look at the images too, if you want if you want to see a better quality of that. But Whis is here. Uh, I mean, I, clearly like they want to push power creep because this guy's getting. Let's just go over it one more time. This guy's getting 150% attack when he launches a super attack, which is going to work extremely well with a support unit like you guessed it, Whis, <laughs> um, because of the fact because of the way it's calculated in the middle of the turn. Uh, and then he gets an additional 70% attack and defense after getting attacked, which is also calculated separately, so it also benefits greatly from Whis. And then he has an active skill for an extra 50% attack and defense. So not only is he going to have an insane attack stat, but his defense is also going to be like 200k plus. <laughs> um, 
And then he even has Berserker. I mean, Berserker is a pretty decent link if you can get below the health uh, uh, threshold. But again, I don't think it's going to be super good uh, or super easy to do that because of the fact that this guy is going to be healing you uh, when you use him alongside Beerus. Uh, and then in terms of the links that they share together, let's actually go back to my translations real fast. So Godly Power, Prodigies, and Connoisseur. I mean, Whis isn't going to have Prodigies, but he has Godly Power, Connoisseur. Uh, and I think Beerus has Shocking Speed. He does. Okay, so I'm thinking of who you can link up Innocence and Prodigies with for Beerus. Innocence and Prodigies? Do the LR Beerus and Whis have that? Let me just make sure. I'm just going to check real fast and I can let you guys know. Ah, uh, they do. So LR Beerus and Whis have Prodigies and Innocence and Godly Power and Connoisseur and Shocking Speed and Fierce Battle. <laughs> So, we go back over here. The only link that the LR doesn't have that this guy has is Berserker. Um, so, Berserker becomes legendary power on the LR. So, this guy actually becomes like the perfect linking partner for LR Beerus. Um, so, what you might want to end up doing is you might actually want to be running this guy along with LR Beerus and running Whis as a floater. And then, once you get that rotation where Whis is on the team, uh, because remember, Whis's passive does work. Uh, with LR Beerus and Whis as well. I mean, it, let's just go look at the translation again. It says, uh, whose name includes Beerus. So obviously LR Beerus and Whis's name include Beerus. Um, so that would work as well. So, so I think a rotation of this guy with the LR Beerus and Whis and then this guy floating, like that would be a ridiculous rotation. Like that, this guy's going to be hitting like 7 million or something, like six, five, six, seven million <laughs> with everything procced. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what we got right here. Uh, I assume we'll be getting a data download either in the next day or two. So I'm not going to be able to obviously get gameplay out because I don't play JP. I don't have the private server. So I'm going to leave that to other people to show off. But that's what I'm expecting. These guys look absolutely insane. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you all in the next one.